The territory in the universe of Pardos is divided in space that may be claimed by official factions and the neutral zone. A special protocol which was signed by all faction states that no faction may officially claim any sectors in the vast regions of the neutral zone. However, private corporations have disregarded this protocol the day it got incepted and have labeled sectors with their name tag and thereby generated a privatization. The Galactical Council is currently revising the law and it may be possible that alliances may own the neutral zone from now on officially. Rights activists have condemned the decision of the Galactical Council as the neutral zone will get more restrictive from time to time. There are two types of movement restrictions identified. Type 1 restriction or nuke restriction is defined as a small area or a single sector which is sealed off by at least one or multiple military outposts. It's a guarantee that only authorized pilots may enter this specific economic region as long as the outpost is supplied. Type 2 restriction or multi-sector restriction is the act of establishing military outpost line that will prevent unwanted pilots to enter a large portion of a cluster, including at least three sectors which are connected of each other. Freedom fighters have condemned this imperialistic behavior and have threatened private corporations and alliances to respond with terror and acts of sabotage. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Smoker, your captain speaking, and I'm back with some more Pardos piracy action. So we are in the gap, just about to make an MO poke run. The small window down to the right is my combat analyzer. Every time I poke a military outpost, it will show what defense modules are on it. I'm starting here some sort of warm-up with some baby nukes. Okay, this uh, military outpost has a Wanger, a Wanger medium missile turret and a Wanger, it's just a small nuke with a couple of illegals inside. I then proceeded to another nuke of minor interest, but you know, since I'm in the area already, we got here like three medium missile turrets, it's basically an empty nuke, so no big deal. Okay, one sector to the right, we are approaching target region now. This is the first MO line of interest for me. I'm very curious on how well it's gonna be defended. So going here, Candy Land apparently behind those MO walls. Well, not for me. Um, three Avengers on here, not so bad. And a bomb hit me, damaging my ammo teleporter. Luckily, not my drive. Okay, next MO, Meteor Missile Turret, Seeker, Seeker, Avenger, also not so bad to be quite frank. Uh, third one is Meteor Missile Turret times 5 and Avenger, Avenger. That MO line is quite weak in fact. I'm pretty optimistic that these locks will create some interest, so why, why wait? I will proceed to the second MO line, which you can access through Usanfa. Chances are the defenses will be fairly similar, still we wanna poke them. Okay, four Avengers and two missile turrets, that's not so hard to strip. But still we wanna look if there are weaker ones. Okay, next one is here. Missile turret, missile turret, missile turret. Again, that is just brilliant. Oh, whoa, Matrix guy holding a banana in my face. Um, well, we got here like also pretty pathetic defenses. Missile turret times five. Could almost solo it myself on the last one. Only two missile turrets. Are you serious? Well, what can I say? My work is done and I'm free to cause some mischief to the citizens of Gap again. Now I'm just about to set my ambush to refill my pockets with a little cash again. As I'm a pirate dependent on food stamps from the government, long live our welfare system. That is a GDO starbase here right next to me which is fairly frequently supplied. On my ambush spot is a sneaky sneaky time bomb, um, by the way, which, um, which I placed um, quite some time ago. Maybe I can use, utilize it as well, who knows? Well, actually I know how this video ends, but I as the commentator of the video have to pretend to be surprised. I got triggered then by a, a beer mod. Samus was the lucky winner who just lock, well, lost 120k credits. Why would she be a winner then? Don't know. Uh, well, Pardos just knows winners. And since I had the stun bomb ready, I armed it with her alliance name. I thought I'm gonna fly down and stalk her some more and watch through her window from the starbase. I can see you, Samus. No, I'm, I'm not creepy at all. However, nothing really happened and I thought, well, it worked one time and maybe it will work again. So I flew back and set my retreat point again. Why I didn't set it before still leaves me mystified. However, I did not become a pirate because I was the smartest in high school. Uh oh, there she is, damn it. One million percent she saw me already, setting my ambush regardless. 
Okay, now she is down there. Not sure what she is up to. She flies really awkward as she wants to avoid me. Hmm. <gasps> Damn it, that's Wolf Eye for sure, that Nighthawk. Okay, gotta remove GDO from this from the stun bomb list. As I only have 800 APs and no way I could kill him in that time. Not with my Saki Wiper. Really, really lucky he did not trigger. Um, that would have been quite a waste. Okay, he's. I think he's looking for me or what? Okay, I got a distress call from that space farm. Look, that seems to be standard trick from GDO school as they always pull off that trick with me. Never worked so far. Hey, maybe I check out the space farm over there. Well, Samus triggered me again. However, she smartly removed all her credits, so I hacked more or less nothing from her. I was so out of a piece that I retreated to a planet to buy 8 tons of drugs. That's a lot of blow to snort at one time. So I'm about to play Mr. Creepy Stalker again. Oh, there is Wolfie looking for me, bro. What's he doing there? I think I'm gonna add GDO as a foe again, as I have the APs now for Wolfie. Well, it turns out that Sam Samus actually hit the spot. And I moved to her tile and attack her. I knew she didn't have any money, so I killed her without any hesitation and oh my god, look at it. She got slaughtered in front of the very eyes from Wolfeye. Therefore should rename to Moleye there, a damsel in distress and the hero, well, he just watched his own alliance mate die in a horrible fire. Wolfeye wrote me a message after that he is hunting me. Like, how many people are hunting me now? Or better, who's not? Kudos to Samus, you know, she actually loaded up with missiles as she hit my second ambush and as I stun bombed her, she was armed with weapons to the teeth. She threw everything at me, including the kitchen sink. Um, but you know, a BBB will always be a BBB, no matter how much you wish for it, honey. I then hacked some more in Visilia. Nothing spectacular, Dr. Ives from Shadow Sif hit me, stole 1 million credits from him, you know, it's a standard procedure in the world of credit hacking. Um, and then I hit a stun bomb in Fadafi, once again, you know, I keep running into them. And I swear by God, I swear by God, I misclicked on the tile. I knew already that there was a bomb. I had like 1300 APs and I actually thought that this is a time bomb and not a stun bomb. So the longest 60 seconds of Pardos, um, uh, like a Pardos player can have, trust me, it's so horrible, it takes forever. And look at it again, I flew over the goddamn planet, another misclick, it was so weird, I just don't know what happened. Uh, Koma from Quinto Imperio placed the stun bomb and he, he, was, he was babysitting it for some time and wanted to get some coffee, well, a name Koma implies, you need a lot of Starbucks juice. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you haven't noticed, this was a joke and it seems like um, that luck was again on my side as I didn't die. I then moved back to Visilia as Fadafi is very very bad place at the moment and I set an ambush on my favorite spot and oh no, it can't be again. Megabyte, no! He was zapped by my lasers once again, crappy cred attack very sadly. Well, I was enjoying my stay here in Gap to the fullest extent. Ye old Candy Lords and GDO have been putting up quite a show. Sweet fighting going on and oh, whoa! Stepped on the whole fleet here on the, at the Axel. This was my last video for quite some time now again. I switch a lot between Austria and Asia because of work. I'll be over in Asia in August until November. However, currently I simply have so much stuff to do um, that I doubt that I will post anything. Um, if you are in Bangkok or in Singapore in that time frame, just throw me a PM and maybe we can drink a couple of beers or I'll do some more stuff. Um, also, I'm so sorry, uh, my inbox is always so full, um, so stuffed um, with people writing me. It's really sorry, I, sometimes I just don't have the time to answer or answer really late. Um, yeah, big thanks to all my watchers. I hope to see you in a couple of months. Once again, you guys were seriously so nice all the time. Um, my, my wiper and me are going once again going to an unknown location in Pardos, the oblivion of pirates. Can't reach that place without special pirate equipment. All right, on my mark, ready. Jump!